Time to give me a headache, I think. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts from the bar with the gathering. Yay. That's right. We're all back together. It's been forever. Like a year. It seems like it's been longer than that. Yeah. So let's get started, shall we? Please. Okay, we got a few people to welcome to the channel, so let's start with that. Stephanie Dove, welcome to the neighborhood. And she's over from Sylvia's channel, Faith, Hope, and Love. Thank you. Queen M, welcome to the neighborhood. And she's got a channel. Go by and check her out. Susie57Q, Susie57Q, welcome to the neighborhood. Charlena Hitton, welcome back, lady. We sure as heck missed you. Glad you're back. Hope everything's going well for you. Bookworm1398, welcome to the neighborhood. And she's got a channel, so go by and check her out. The Homicidal Homemaker. You guys may have seen her in our video from Midsummer Scream. She had a booth there. She has her own channel as well. Go by and check her out. She's pretty awesome. Very awesome. Tracy Quick, welcome back, girl. We sure as heck missed you. Hope all is going well with you. And uh, glad to have you back. Don't disappear on us again. And Fuzzy Paw 90 AJ, welcome to the neighborhood. That's true. Terry Johnson, happy birthday birthday to her dad this month and happy birthday to her uncle Stan this month and Jay Bennett I Jay Bennett 380 I can't respond to your comments but she wanted to know if what you did fixed the toilet yes yes Jay Bennett 380 it fixed the toilet so if you're watching this there's your answer and we have a lot of people that share our contents on other media sources. I want to say thank you to all of them. I don't always catch everybody, but I want to start giving you guys a little bit of a shout out. TJRA, Growers Love, thank you for sharing our content. Dave Nicholson, as always, thank you for sharing our content. Angie on YouTube. Thank you for sharing our content. Okay. Ah, now we got some interesting stuff going on. Thoughts and prayers for people, guys. Terry Johnson. First, let's give you an update on her uncle Stan, who had a um, heart attack last week. Um, he's doing much better. He's home from the hospital. He's still not feeling that well, but he goes back to the doctors um, this week on his birthday. So, sorry that you have to go on your birthday, but he's doing better. Okay, Terry Johnson. Poor Terry. Her family's going through a lot right now. Her Aunt Sue had a stroke. She had the stroke five days ago. She's already gone home. They're calling it a mini stroke. She had one last December and didn't tell anybody in the family that she had a stroke. Yeah. So thoughts and prayers go out to Sue and your entire family, Terry and Sue. And, and uh, hopefully things start picking up a little bit for you guys. Betsy Wetsy, her father is in Florida. He is still sick, and she is still trying to make arrangements to get down to see him. Mm. Tanya Ray, her stepfather, last week when she left me this comment, um, he was dying of, he is dying of stage four lung cancer, and he was going downhill very fast. And her daughter is having a real hard time seeing him like this. So thoughts and prayers go out to Tanya Ray 
and her entire family and her daughter Kenzie um, having gone through something very similar just recently I can understand it is very hard to see somebody suffering like that so I can understand um, so thoughts and prayers go out to all of you one proud mama 77 April and Haley um, thank you for your, your kind words. Um, also, they're still waiting to hear about their surgery dates and um, when they're going to be having their surgery. And they are have been given their 30-day notice to move. They have to move with it by the end of August. They have nothing lined up, so they're kind of stressing about that as well. So. Thoughts and prayers go out to them for um, their surgeries as well as finding a place to move. Okay. My friend Kyle Muhlenbeam, 24. This is one crazy, crazy story. He went into the hospital for pneumonia and the flu. While he was in the hospital, they discovered he had torn ligaments in his knee. Somehow, while he was in the hospital, I do not know all the particulars, he developed gangrene in his knee. Wow. Yes. They ended up having to put him into an induced coma. This was back in late June that he went into the hospital. He is still in the hospital. They've tried to do surgery on his knee. It is too infected. They cannot get his temperature down. They cannot get the infection under control. Every time they bring him out of the coma, he is in a tremendous amount of pain. I'm speaking with his girlfriend um, via Instagram private messaging. Um, he did wake up and eat some solid foods last week, and um, I was able to speak to him a little bit. And as of right now, the plan is keeping him through the end of August. He is in a brace in his knee. They got the pain somewhat under control, but they still cannot get his fever down. So this poor guy went into the hospital for pneumonia and the flu in June and is going to be there all of July and all of August and part of June. Isn't that outrageous? Wow. I feel so sorry for him. So, thoughts and prayers, please, go out to Kyle Mullen, being 24. Okay, and of course, all of you that follow me probably already follow Mom's Vlog 80, but just in case you do not, please, 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 we're both sporting our Elijah gear right now. Please keep Elijah... Uh, main bill, main bill, Drax Shadow, in your thoughts and prayers. He is not doing very well um, from his his cancer. They did try and do some surgery today, and it did not go well. Um, we're still all being very op optimistic and trying to keep positive thoughts and positive vibes. All sending their way so if you can all please keep Elijah and Melody, Ronnie and Caden in your thoughts and prayers uh, we would greatly appreciate that they could really use as much uh, thoughts and prayers as possible so okay a few weeks back I asked a question about your most embarrassing moments and I never got back to you guys on that. Yeah, so let's let's do that right now. Let's do that right now. So, your most embarrassing moment, Ruby Pierce. When I was in the sixth grade, the teacher had asked me a question about the lesson. 
that was an English class. I opened my mouth to answer and accidentally let out a huge burp. I guess I didn't feel it coming out or something like that. It was pretty embarrassing. The whole class left and I went out into the hall to collect myself. I didn't like that very much. It was pretty embarrassing. Yeah, I would say that would be pretty embarrassing. Uh, I think that's one of most students' worst nightmares is to fart or burp in the middle of like class when everything's silent. So, yeah. Silent but deadly. Yeah, I, I would say so. Uh, Margatech Clevenger. My most embarrassing moment was I was walking down the sidewalk and just fell out in the road. Thankfully, the car had a red light or that would be so, so bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, did you trip on your own two feet or on the curb or something? Did, did a ghost trip you something? <laughs> Come on, Margatette, tell the real story here. So, but yeah, that, that must have been pretty embarrassing. Susie here. My most embarrassing moment was when I was working for Old Navy. It was just me at five foot nine and my coworker at four seven in the store putting stock out. We were in the baby department and there was some clothing that needed to go on the top face out. So since I was the tallest, I put it up there. As I put the shirt up there, my bra and my shirt got caught on the face out underneath. I was left dangling by my bra. My coworker had no idea how to get me down because she was so small, being about 80 pounds soaking wet and me being plus sized all we could do was laugh i did finally wiggle my way off the face out and laughed some more yeah were, were there customers in the store at the time i'm just curious or was it still closed just curious and terry johnson my most embarrassing moment was when i was wearing fishnet stockings to high school one of my stockings got wrapped around a bolt in the chair and i could not get up without ripping it the bell had rang and the teacher was trying to get my leg freed from the chair while a bunch of guys were whistling and whooping it up as they entered the room. She got me loose and I went to my next class. How embarrassing. Yeah, I would say that would be pretty embarrassing. What was one of your most embarrassing moments? The only thing I could think of is I went whale watching with some friends one day and they, this boat had a restroom facing uh, everybody, one on each side of the boat and it had uh, uh, man, men and women on it, but it was removable. And while I was in the bathroom, they switched them on me. <laughs> and I come out of the bathroom and they're all going, what were you doing in the ladies' room? That's embarrassing. <laughs> what? That was embarrassing. That's the only thing I can think of. When I was in high school, and I never wore dresses to school, and for some reason there was some assembly or something, and I had to wear a dress to school. And it was after school and we were walking to the buses and one of the boys in school came up behind me and lifted my dress up over my head as I was walking to the bus. So that was pretty embarrassing. That's that. My question for this week is, what is something that is popular now that annoys you? <laughs> I know what Kevin's answer is going to be already. It is time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. And since he has Angel, I will be nice to him. Oh, well, I was going to give them to you anyway. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Boop, boop. So, um, everybody had a hard time with this question the last time, and there's a reason I asked it wrong. His fault. It was my fault. I was asking. I asked uh, why was um, Gunnar Hansen having such a hard time uh, with uh, Madeline Burns, who was playing Sally, I think the character's name, uh, chasing her be, uh, on the last scene. Well, that's wrong. It, uh, I was referring to a uh, something that happened earlier in the movie where he's chasing her uh, through a forest, and what happened is even on on a platform shoes, Gunnar Hansen 
was still out running her. And he kept catching up to her. She wasn't running fast enough or couldn't out, out run him. So he had to slow down and do silly things. So he zigzagged, he cut out the trees and stuff like that. So nobody got it right because there was no question to get right. Now, tonight's question is about American Werewolf in London, 1981. <laughs> and of course, because we ran into uh, David Naughton while we were at the uh, Midsummer Screen. And um, the, the question is, all the songs in this movie has the word moon in it. But the soundtrack was written by Elmer Bernstein. Uh, why was there never a uh, soundtrack put out to this movie? Or why? Uh, I make sure I ask this question correctly. Why was it? Why was it El Elmer Bernstein not put on to any of the? Uh, uh, just in case there was a compilation, because these were just songs from the time. So there's your question. I hope I asked it right this time. <laughs> there you have it, everybody. There's your question of the day and your or question of the week and your trivia question of the week. From Kevin, don't forget to go and check out my Monday night trivias. Those ones are for prizes. You are all part of our neighborhood community. Each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it were not for all of you out there watching us here. We love you all so very much. Thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out all our other stuff. And we... Including Angel. We'll see you all next week.